So in this video, we're going to just explore a little bit about uh, uh, X-band versus S-band and uh, pulse length, short pulse, medium pulse, and long pulse. So for this simulation, we're in New York Harbor, okay? Um, here's the tip of Manhattan, okay? This is New Jersey over here, all right? Governor's Island. So uh, we're on our ship, and we're headed up, uh, up, up the harbor, heading up towards the Hudson River. And right now we're on three mile scale, we're on X band, okay? So if I want to, first of all, I can drop down to one and a half mile scale if I want to get a little bit more detail, okay? Um, here, you know, I can start to see piers quite nicely down here. Uh, if I want to, I can also go off center, all right? I can go to max view, and that keeps me still on this one and a half mile scale, but I'm seeing a little bit further ahead. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and stay on off center for now, all right? So everything you see here, these are all uh, buoys, okay? And right now we're in X band and we're in short pulse. So what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to go ahead and I just want you to see the difference between X band and S band in short pulse. So I'm going to click on X. All right. I'm switching to S band and you can see that, um, uh, everything is a little bit more blobbish now. Okay. Um, so, uh, look down at these piers down here. All right. I'm going to switch back to X. And you see, I don't know if you can see or not, I'm going to go, actually, I'm going to go back to center view here so we can keep an eye on these piers down here. So here are these piers. I'm going to switch back to S-band. And you see how the, the detail of the piers we've lost a little bit? You see, um, I'm going to, all right, so look, look in this vicinity right here, as a matter of fact, okay, right along in here. You, it sort of looks like one big blob. I'm going to switch back to X. And you see, you, you're starting to get a little bit more definition. There's a little, sort of little gaps in between there. We can see that there's two piers here. Let me go back to S again one more time. So with S X band, we have a little bit more discrimination. I, I can't really tell that there's multiple piers here in S, but I can in X. Now, the, the difference is not huge, but there is a difference. X band is better at sort of discrimination, okay? and um, uh, uh, being able to tell, distinguish uh, 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 things from apart. Now, now we're still, I'm gonna stay in X now. What I wanna do now is I'm gonna go to, sh um, we're in short pulse. Let's see what other options I've got. Oh, let me go to me um, uh, medium pulse. So with medium pulse, I'm actually emitting more energy. I'm emitting more energy because the transmitter is on for a longer period of time. Now look what happened. When I went to medium pulse, I lost a lot of that definition down there, but look, all my buoys got bigger, okay? Let's go to long pulse and see what happens. What's gonna happen with long pulse? My transmitter is gonna stay on even longer. That means that every target that's out there is gonna uh, be getting, will be hit by more energy and therefore more backscatter will come back to me. So let's see, uh, actually on this range, I can't go to long pulse, the radar won't let me. Uh, but let's go up to three mile scale because I think I have all the, uh, all right, so here we are in three mile scale. Um, and uh, I think what I'm gonna do here is, uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna off center. I'm gonna go in this max view so I can look ahead a little bit better, okay? And um, so let's look at our, let's, let's see what, all right, so this is now X band long pulse. Whoa, look at that, okay? That is just an, uh, an enormous amount of energy coming back because I, my transmitter's been on for a long period of time. And that is just an absolute mess. This is no good for three mile range. You see, I'm on three mile range. I, I want this amount of energy when I'm going like 12 miles or something like that. Okay. So, uh, let's, um, uh, let's go back to short pulse. Okay. So that was X band short pulse. And now you can see I got a reasonable amount of energy coming back and I've got some discrimination going on. So let's go ahead and let's switch to S band and let's see what goes. So immediately with S band, I lose some of that discrimination. Let's go S band. Uh, medium pulse. Okay, very blobbish. All right, all right, because now my pulses are longer and long pulse. Okay, so you can see that for short ranges, long pulse doesn't make any sense, whether you're on X or S, because you're just you're just uh, generating too much too much energy because your transmitter is staying on for a long period of time. All right. Um, so let's just go ahead now, uh, let's go back down to, I'm going to show you one more time. I'm going to go down to short pulse and we'll just go back and forth. Uh, actually let's go to medium pulse. 
All right. A little bit too much energy for S band. Let's see what it looks like on X. So you can see that, all right, switching between X and S, S, all right, less discrimination, all right, a little bit more blobby, X, a little bit finer, okay? So that's always going to be the case between X and S, all right? Uh, and, and then within a band, if I go to short pulse, I'll transmit less energy. If I go to longer pulse, I'll transmit more. So there is a time where we want to be on long pulse, but not at a three mile scale, maybe 12 mile or something like that. All right. So you might say to yourself, you know, if long pulse is no good on a three mile scale, why do I have the option? Well, think about that for a second. And under what conditions might you want to have long pulse on a three mile scale? Hmm. Maybe if you were trying to find a very weak target. Okay. So you, um, uh, you know, so you, you're essentially looking for, you know, very small boats, uh, you know, um, little, little itsy bitsy uh, recreational sailboats and things like that. Uh, you might actually go to long pulse for specialized searching sort of methods, but generally you're not going to be in long pulse in such short range.